Hello, it's Anne. Thank you for stopping by. I've been looking lately at my circles, and <clears throat> if you've been uh, with me for a while, you know I tend to use lots and lots and lots of circles in um, some in in my collages and in my junk journal elements. And I think it's because I <laughs> I have you know I have some circle punches and circle dies, and I you know sometimes if you have a piece of colorful paper and you just don't know what to do with it, you cut it up into circles, and surely it will be useful for something. And it, as it turns out, it it usually is. Um, I tend to cut my circles a lot into uh, into halves, and I use them for little decorative accents on the edge of things. I put a circle behind something else to make it pop. But I was thinking this time. Why don't we let the, the circles, instead of always being the supporting characters in our design, why don't we let them be the stars of the show? So I was thinking maybe we would do some belly bands using some circles and in particular some split circles. So I haven't, um, I did one sort of test one uh, that I'm kind of okay with, but the rest I thought, let's just, let's just do it together and see, um, see how it works. Um, for when belly bands are just so useful in a journal and I have them sometimes horizontal, I have them often vertical. Uh, I tend to like to, sh to make them as thin as possible, but to strengthen them. And so I have a couple that I made here, um, just out of a single thickness of book page, but I put a piece of tissue paper over that and then kind of scrunched up the tissue paper, the, a white one and a brown one, scrunched it up a little bit tore it a couple of times. So I, that's why I got those darker things on. It's a junk journal. It doesn't matter. So this is my base. Uh, I think that the, um, the tissue paper with a very thin coat of Mod Podge does strengthen it and makes it, um, able to stand up to you putting things in, in and out between it, but of course, or underneath it when it's in your journal. Um, but what if we were going to dress this up with some circles? And I think the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a line right down the middle of this base. And let's see, here's my absolute value ruler. There's the midpoint there. And I think, yeah, I can get that. That's going to line up with this little bottom dotted line on this acrylic ruler. And that's going to make a really, really nice straight edge. Very useful. Very useful. It is, of course, from Tim. He of the good ideas. So I think that we're going to be able to cover this up, but we do need it as a guideline. So I have a few circles here that I cut already um, cut in half and did some inking on. Let's see. There's a million different ways that you can, um, you can arrange these. I could make them overlap a little bit and they're going to look different every time. I do have these cut to be eight and a half inches, which is uh, with my, uh, about what my standard size is uh, for a page. Let's, let's just go, let's just go for this. Try to not glue too much on the top part of that arc. Put that right up and just barely overlapping that pencil line. This was a, a dictionary page that I did a bunch of just kind of practice watercoloring on, and I probably wasn't going to use the page itself in any sort of spectacular way, but I could use a die and cut that up and have something kind of colorful and useful. I don't mind at all having having this stick over the edge. Probably should have something underneath that. Yep, I got some stuff on there.
That's all right. These are pretty resilient mats. And you can see I didn't get this is this is sticking over. I know that this is in, in, in the middle. This is sticking out more than this is. So when I cut my circle down the middle, I obviously didn't um, didn't get it completely um, in the middle. But um, what do we say here? It doesn't matter. Let's see. I think I'm going to go to one of my smaller ones and I could. I could go to this same, this same pattern. I think I'm going to go to this same pattern. And if I find my scissors, those weren't the ones I was looking for, but these will be okay. I'm just going to kind of freehand this. Put this. Well, maybe I should just lay these in place before I start committing to the glue down. I don't think I'm loving that, but I think one thing I might enjoy doing is putting some of these that have a nice contrast right in the middle there. How about that? And that kind of looks like they swoop into each other. I think if you Google or do a Pinterest search on split circles, you might find some really good ideas. People that are much better at doing this than I am have spent a lot of time studying the artistry and the optical illusion of uh, putting circle halves together. But truthfully, I think there's almost no way to do it wrong. There's that. And what if, what if now we went back? Wait, that's not the, that's not the same piece there. What if now we went back to this? I think I might be okay with that. I'm just going to get those just sort of squished down together into that same visual focal point. I'm using my art glitter glue here. Do you think I maybe should replace this bottle? I just keep refilling the same bottle time after time because I get the refills and, um, I realized now, every once in a while, I think, gosh, I put this on YouTube. I mean, it is art glitter glue. I mean, it's like going outside in your ratty pajamas or something like that. I'm sorry about that. I think this makes kind of an interesting focal point, but it looks incomplete. I wonder... I wonder if I put these other these like kind of dim black and white maybe i'll do that where they join and it's going to be it, it's going to show the unevenness because this is going to be off the edge and this is going to be inside but i think i'm just going to kind of embrace that imperfection this is a case of look at what you have and just throw it together. It's like <laughs> if you have a bunch of, uh, you know, leftovers for dinner, you know, you have a, a head of cauliflower and um, some leftover chicken and olives. <laughs> How can those things go together? Well, if you chop up an onion and saute that and throw in some red paper, pepper, almost anything can go. I don't know that I'm loving this. But I could be convinced, I suppose.
you know, the, the sense of symmetry is, is not something I'm executing well here, but I think I can build out a semblance of it and hope that I'm not being too artistically offensive here in my mishmash any more than I would be gastronomically offensive <laughs> with the way I throw a dinner together out of leftovers. I think we're going to call this a belly band. And I really think I'm okay with that. It's not even, but I really think I'm okay with that. Let's look and see if we can find a blank <coughs> page in this journal. I think I'll find one that has a, a bit of contrast. I think that would be very pleasant to be thumbing through a journal and finding something tucked under there. And actually, if you were careful with your planning, you could leave some of these things open and have little tuck spots where you could put little uh, tickets or little treasures. Let's do another one. These are shot in the dark. Let's see how another one turns out. We have no idea, do we? Let's see, I could go for <clears throat> one that was a little bit wider. This is sort of the, you know what, let's just, let's just do it. There are times when a really wide belly band is an appropriate thing to have, like on a really busy page. This is a, a large book page that I sort of folded together into a tube, but I glued it down because I didn't want the join on the side. There's the, the join down the middle of the back. If that join was really flappy, I would <clears throat> take a piece of thin uh, masking paper and put it over uh, over that, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's see, let's go down to our eight and a half inches, four, four and a half, right around there. And we're just going to see what I retracted it. I retract that. Important to be safe with our, our sharp edges. There we go. Okay. So here's our super wide belly band. I do have some super wide <clears throat> circles here. Set this guy aside. I think this, these would be cute to do some stitching on too. Once you had everything, um, everything going here and there, you do some stitching on top. Hmm. Oh, the important decisions we have to make. You know, I, I, I love this, but I'm kind of committed to the idea of the split circle for this particular video. So let's go ahead and cut these bad boys in half. Do we have enough? Yeah, I kind of like that um, contrast there. I also like this contrast. Boy, this was one ugly page. Let me tell you, this was something I was experimenting with, with some mixed media, and I used some brown acrylic paint and spatters, and all of it, you know, when the page is all together, oh, no, no. But cut up into little pieces, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's useful. So let's see if I can, maybe I'll use my trimmer to try to cut these in half. Okay, so this is a three and a half inch circle. So we'll go down to, as far as I can tell, this is one and three quarters. It's not terribly precise. And we'll do the same with this one. Is it? Yep, three and a half, one and three quarters. Uh. 
and let's let's cut a few smaller ones in half again we're going to commit to that split split circle aesthetic and let's do one of these this two and a half one and a quarter glad we're not doing any complex math today yeah i love this color this is a little bit thicker i think this is a scrapbook paper little bit thicker than the book pages but um, with this since we're kind of stacking things together you can have a little bit of difference in the in the thickness and not have to worry about it too much should we go back to one of these that might come in useful two and a half one and a quarter all right now <clears throat> We're making dinner. <laughs> We're just going to see what comes of these. A lot of these, these are book pages. Again, I've done some little bit of gesso, a little bit of distress ink. They've been sitting around in a stack. I just die cut a bunch of, um, of circles out of them. Maybe I'll just do something in the middle there. And maybe I'll do something on the other side here. And we'll have a little bit of contrast here. And a little bit of contrast here. Where'd that other guy go? There he is. Whoops, got them upside down. Let's just see how that looks. I think it could make an interesting statement. Let's start with our largest one. And I am going to try to get this, get the join somewhat in the middle. And since it doesn't... Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna draw the line this time. Just something to erase later. I'll put that little mark in there, but okay, art glitter glue. Maybe I will switch to a bottle that has a decent label. Putting that right up next to that little mark there i'm so glad i i used this book page uh to cut up because it really looked <clears throat> it looked really nasty and uh it's just amazing how things are inch and a half things are a lot easier to tolerate when they're in smaller doses where did i put that mark an inch and a half down that's one and five eighths there we go Boy, that looks inch and a half. Uh, I guess it's okay. Boy, it's it's making it's creating an optical illusion there. <clears throat> All right. I think I have forgotten where we had the other ones, but I think I'm gonna not worry about that. I'm just going to put them down. This is one thing that I think is beautiful about any kind of collage, but particularly 
you know, if it's something where you, you know, you're going for a certain effect, but you, you kind of trust the process and you just don't know how it's going to turn out. And I just, that's one thing I just, I just love about this whole junk journal world. We let ourselves experiment and play and, uh, enjoy the way that things turn out and they may not be what we expected, but life seldom is. I would go like that. I'm kind of enjoying that. So we'll have this join be about midpoint of that little circle. You know, if you find yourself responding positively to a look or a design or a, or a texture, you probably should just go with it. That's part of the joy of discovery, I think. The beauty of innovation. I could have inked the middles there. Could have, didn't. Not worried about it. I almost feel like I want a button or something completely round in the middle there. Um... I'm going to put, oh, I have a little box of circles over here. Not enough contrast there. Maybe too much contrast there. That pops, that pops. These are just little, little circles again out of a mixed media page. I had a little bit of a scrap left over, too small to do anything major with it, but I cut little circles and look how we're using it now. Oh, this I can. Take the backing that was peeling off and have a little bit of a thinner piece there. It'd be fun to put like little bits of metal or something on something like this. But I, I love how the circles are taking center stage. The circles are not just background pieces. Must have used some glue stick that didn't didn't stick on that little collage piece in a prior life but it hung on it never made it to the scrap bin well it made it to the scrap bin it didn't make it to the recycling bin or if it did i pulled it back again i've been known to do that about the way it goes i'm usually pretty good at recognizing orientation of musical staffs but Sometimes they elude me. It has kind of a musical, I'm really, really glad I happened to run across those little circles because there is, there, there is sort of a musical flow to that, isn't there? I could do some stamping. I could add, you know, I could add, you know, some words or a label uh, there, but you know, for now, I really think I'm, I really think I'm, I'm going to leave it. Um, here's the first one that we did. Oh, geez. I'm, I'm really loving this. Now the question will be, am I going to be able to leave it well enough alone? But get out, get out your, um, 
your, your circle punches and your circle dies and start cutting those in half and do some fun split to, um, split circle designs. Here's another one uh, that I did when I was practicing. I put those little buttons uh, down the middle. They're not buttons. They're little, little tiny punches out of a piece of cardstock. But um, yeah, I think these are really going to be fun, sweet belly bands that really celebrate the circle. So have fun with this, guys. Bye-bye.